carriers and archons. But uh, Mothership is really the answer to this uh, problem for Pinder, I think. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like sheepdogs getting rid of this herd of ultras, and they're taking so much damage from all of these archons and these bunch of carriers. He split his forces, death sending a bunch of ultras to these expansions, while he sacrifices a bunch of ultras into these archons. But they have that battering ram that does. Oh, these immortals are going to get caught out. This is bad news for Pinder. He's got a bunch of minerals, but these <laughs> immortals just getting minced here. The size storm just being ignored. One ultra going down. And they do the bonus damage to Armored, but it's just not going to be enough. Desperately warping in Zealot to try and ma make use of it, but he's got to be careful here because these Ultras do absolutely insane damage to structures. 85 damage at the current level of upgrades, and they'll just tear through expansions. Meanwhile, Pinder sending in his uh, Archons and his bunch of carriers to work on these expansions that Death has remade. Death sending in Ultras and Corruptors trying to work on this uh, group of here, and Corruption going off on that carrier as he tries to work it down. He needs to focus on the carrier. One of the Corruptors was focusing on the Interceptor, which is bad. Carrier going to bite the dust, and there's the armor upgrade uh, on these uh, Corruptors, so they're going to do a lot of damage and be able to take a lot of hits from these carriers, but two more carriers joining the fray. Corruption going off on three of the carriers. I'm not sure why he was uh, corruptioning three of them when he should be focusing one. Only four Corruptors left as they work on these Ultralisks, and Pinder's expansions are still up at this point, so this is a bad situation for Death, but he keeps bringing himself back from the brink right here as he makes more Corruptors to counter these Ultras, and just a bunch more Archons coming off of Kinder. I'm loving the unit composition, I'm really hoping we see a Mothership. There are so many Corruptors being made right now, it's just Corruptors versus these uh, Carriers. Now, uh, three Nidus Worms, Nidus Network, sorry, I should say, uh, are being made uh, by Death, so we'll see something sneaky, I'm sure. Um, coming soon, more gateways, more archons, but these carriers, I love the carriers, they're fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, only one more ultralist being made um, as far as death is concerned, so the carrier is doing a great job of really thinning out the herd <laughs> of these ultralists. So, uh, I like Pinder's position a whole lot, I also love the fact that he's using carriers, I'd love him more if he had motherships, but that'll have to do. Yeah, I want to see an ultra get into an itis, I just, I... It blows my mind how an Ultralisk can travel through a Nidus network. How the hell do they fit? They are just absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I mean, you look at this huge Ultralisk. It's like the size of a monstrous elephant with demented tusks, and somehow it gets into this tunnel. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense, but that doesn't matter. We see these Ultras coming into these Corruptors now. One carrier going down, second carrier going down to these Corruptors. Bad news for Pina. That's a massive investment, and that's all of those carriers going down. Pinder is in huge trouble right now as he tries to take this gold and get his economy even further up, but that's a huge loss right there. These Ultras can now actually move in and uh, not be worried about the, the air threat, but a bunch of Archons coming in here. They're 2 not 3 No shield upgrades on these Archons, which is a bit uh, disturbing considering they re rely heavily on their shields. They have 350 shields and only 10 hit points, so that shield upgrade is super important for... <laughs> Archons, but they do have the armor upgrade, which is going to help them tank a little bit. These Corruptors are going to do corruption all over these Archons, which is going to help out for these Ultras so much. We are seeing a bunch of Ultras come now. Not that many, considering there's this many Archons, but the Archons are blocking these Zealots from joining the fray. Finally, a little get window opens up and these Zealots can start getting in, but these Ultras melting and the Roach is going down, so Death's in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to have to spend up big, and Pinder thinking about destroying these expansions for the fifth time, he must be like, what do I have to do to deny these expansions? Try sending in these Corruptors, which are taking unnecessary shots from all of these Archons, so I'm not sure what the, <laughs> what next we're going to see from these upper tech units that both players just throwing at each other, trying to get the upper hand in this game. We've seen Carriers, Corruptors, Ultralisks, Archons, I love it. So, not sure what Death's answer is going to be. He's in a lot of trouble right now with this many Archons, which is going to do so much damage to his expansions. The problem that Death has is he committed to getting rid of those Carriers, which he did. But of course now these Corruptors just hanging out, 10 of them doing absolutely nothing apart from corrupting these Archons, which is all fine and well, but there's not enough ground units to actually do the damage. So these Archons, there's just so many on the field, I've never seen so many in one fight before. And they're just really just smashing these Ultralists, they're just doing all this cleave damage with just so many Archons and Zealots, it's amazing to see. Much better positioning this time for Pinda with these Zealots able to get off bunch of uh, attacks on these Ultras getting surrounded, even a nice Ice Storm going off there. 
while these ultras get shredded and death calls GG. It's a bit unfor unfortunate there that uh, he invested so heavily to deny those carriers and, uh, uh, and Pinda was just able to constantly uh, come up with answers. Pretty amazing the different unit compositions we saw at the end of that game. So really uh, awesome game there. Archons and carriers were one of my two favorite units for Protoss. So love the play of Pinda. Love it. Yeah, if only you made a mothership.